and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be creating this fantastic lion by Joni Young Art. So sit back, relax, and let's start painting. Okay, so to get started, we're going to put some white on our palette. So grab your white, and for white, I'm going to use this one, this white. And you're going to want a large dollop of white, usually three times the amount you would expect to be using. We're also going to use some black, so go ahead and grab your black. Use this black. And then she wants to use a bluey purple color, so she uses. Um, she doesn't say what color she's using, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix some violet, which is right here, some violet and maybe some ultramarine blue to see if I get that royally blue, royal purple color. And so there's my purple. I've got my ultramarine right here. And I'm going to use my large number 12 angular brush. I'm going to get that wet, tap off the drips, and I'm going to spray my canvas using a spray bottle just with a little bit of water so that paint will really glide on, on there nicely. And I'm just going to take my colors. So I've got my four colors here. I'm just going to dip into the blue and dip into the purple. And then we're just going in on that canvas. It should smell, follow, or it should go on there really smoothly. More blue, more purple. Some areas will be bluer, some areas will be purple, and that's just perfect. And she's using colors that are very complementary to each other with the lion, so they'll look really pretty. In the end, I'm just going to spritz my canvas just a little more. Not too much more, just a little bit just so that paint glides on there real nice. If you spritz it too much, then um, your paint might get on there a little fluid-like. It'll become like transparent. So try not to put too much water on there, but just enough so it glides. And you can always do two coats if needed, so no worries. I'm just filling in the rest of this canvas with that color. Today I'm using mixed media paper. You can use whatever you'd like. My size, I believe, is 11 by 14. So it's a medium size, decent size canvas. Perfect for this line, I believe. And I'm a little shy of color. I'm just going to dip my brush a little bit in water, and hopefully I can dry down some of this paint that I have. Oh, media paper expands. Just keep that in mind if you're using it. So if you're using it, you may have to pin it down and then repin it. I'm going to get that paint on my brush if I put a little water in it. There we go. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. That looks fantastic. Okay, so now she takes her black. I'm not cleaning out my brush. And she is going, she's creating a vignette, which means dark on the outside, lighter to the inside. So I just grab a little black on the corners. You get your brush a little wet so the paint flows a little better. My backing on this isn't flat, so sorry about that. I apologize again for the shadows. I know there's a shadow. And we're just running that out. Get your brush a little wet if the paint's not flowing. I'm just softening it out. And we're just coming down just a little bit. And then a little bit down here. And I don't think she takes it all the way over the canvas. Like she just stops right around here, which is perfect. And then we'll have a line over here. Although in the final photo, it does look darker down there. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of black over here. I do have a reference photo. I'm going to leave that open right there. Got a little more black. Let's create that vignette around it, which will probably be covered, but that's okay. Go ahead and rinse out your brush. And make sure you change out your water after you wash out your brush, because black will change the color of your paint. Okay, so now we're going to add a little yellow ochre. 
to our palette. Okay, so I have yellow ochre. This is a fantastic color. I highly recommend you get it if you don't. Almost every artist uses this on their palette. Um, yellow ochre, and then she uses burnt sienna as well. And I don't have burnt sienna, so I'm going to use a color called red oxide. It's very similar to burnt sienna. You might just have to add a little black to it. But I actually think these colors will look great on it, so I'm not concerned. Okay, so let's continue on with the painting. So now we're just, she's saying just focus on simple shapes that you're drawing. So I'm going to take a brush that you're comfortable drawing with. So I'm going to take number two flat brush, or angular brush, I'm sorry. Go ahead and get those bristles wet. The line's going to be in the center. Oh, she didn't even tell me what color. All right, I'm just going to take some yellow ochre and mix that with some white. More white than yellow ochre. Very light pale color. So when she starts her shape, she comes down from, it looks like, two-thirds of the way and like one-third of the way in. And comes like down in this way. And then she comes in with a large C, backward C, that comes almost from above this, maybe a little higher, and then comes over this way, and then ends almost like two inches down. If you're having trouble with your paint flowing, go ahead and dip into some water like that. Okay, so now taking that same color, I'm just going to round this out just a bit better. Go ahead and get your brush wet if it's not flowing well. And grab some more white, the yellow ochre, a little bit more white. And she brings that mane down and over. Get some water on your brush. And she brings it up. And over and down. A little yellow ochre. She has this little yellow ochre patch. It's probably about a quarter of the way in. It comes just down like that. And she grabs out white with that yellow ochre. I maybe drew that line way up too high, but that's okay. It'll be covered. So we're going to have our line, let's see. Okay, so you want the head of the lion up here, and this is all going to come down with the main part. Let's see, and then up here, I gotta draw some lines up there. Make sure we like where that head is at. We could start off a little higher, get a little further over. So then his head comes down like a square, so we might have to cover some of this up because. Let's see if his, his jaw looks like it almost starts from the center of the canvas. So if I were the center, it'd be here, but it comes down a little bit, and then it comes out to this line. Oh, okay. Cool. And then it looks like it comes up to almost the center, almost touching there. And then she comes back up to the main which is like up here. So there we go. Got a little more yellow ochre. I'm just rounding this out just a little bit and bring that in. Oh, and she drew in an ear already. Okay, some yellow ochre. And we've got an ear. So an ear that's about an inch over. And that's just going to come out into the fur and come down so it's going to end over right over here so it comes just like that I can't tell which way my brush goes <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, burnt sienna. Grab your burnt sienna with the dirty brush and put it inside the ear. Just burnt sienna or red oxide. Okay, and then grab a little bit of black. Blend that into your other colors. And grab some more black. And then darker on the outside of the ear. And there's a dark patch behind the ear. So it comes down, swoops over. And then, so it comes like to a point below, it's actually gonna come down. So you're behind the ear. It will eventually go under the ear. And then it will go down below here. Just pulling out from behind the ear. Okay, and then under the jaw, the jaw is here, we're just doing this other patch, and black, that comes down, right here, and then his mouth, there's another patch that comes up, almost right in line with this guy, with the nose, it kind of just comes down pretty much almost straight, but towards the mouth and then kind of curls back up and bulk that out just a little bit. It almost comes out like that. So it goes straight, almost straight down this way. And then she brings it this way. And then there's like this half moon, so she brings it up higher. And then she does something like some weird mustache sort of thing. Like that. And then the nose, which comes straight out, straight across, and then it comes diagonally in draw that in and then it comes to a point in the middle or yeah towards the middle like that that should be it for now come back in and darken this up and there's bold going on there little bits of fur so I want to make a little I'm gonna grab a little, grab a little more black go around the ear not all the way around just mostly around except on the bottom this bottom will mostly be black. Okay, and now we're gonna take our brush full of black and we're draw in some of this mane. So under the mane. So the mane almost touches the end of the canvas, or the edge of the canvas, I'm sorry. Okay, so then grab some more black. We're coming down, a little burnt sienna, just bring that over, keeping that swayed to the front. Then you know, on red oxide or uh, burnt sienna and come down, more burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Okay. 
then I'm going to rinse out my brush. Excuse me, I'm going to pause that. I need to bring out my hair behind the head a little bit, so I'm going to rinse out my brush. Grab some white and some yellow ochre. And we're going to go and bring that hair out just a little bit more. Just around like that. And then fill in with some more yellow ochre. Fill that in a little bit. She goes, it looks like she went straight in with yellow ochre here. Just yellow ochre. Just yellow ochre. Just yellow ochre. Right here. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush again. Take over that leftover white and yellow ochre. Fill in some of these areas. Now it looks like she's taking black and burnt umber around oxide and coming down and filling in these areas. So red oxide, yellow ochre, I mean red oxide and black, I'm sorry, and then coming down more. And wet your brush if you're having trouble with the paint moving along your canvas. And then she's just filling in underneath the jaw over here. Remember, this is just the underpainting, so we'll come back to this. Rinse my brush, grab some yellow ochre and some white, mix those in together, and then create a mane again. Taking some yellow ochre, and she's coming under the mane. Put yellow ochre. Okay, so. It's getting the paint on my brush. Okay, let's rinse the brush up. Now we're gonna grab a different brush. We're gonna grab this flat brush, a number eight flat brush, like this. You guys can see that, okay? And we're gonna scumble some paint. So I'm gonna wet my brush a little, get all those bristles loose, take some yellow ochre and some white. I'm just getting on the brush that side. I'm going to take this using your four finger, using your first finger. I'm just going to paint using. Just some texture in there. And that's white. And yellow ochre. If you don't want lines, I try to get rid of any lines that you have. Scumbling. Okay, so then if you have a palette knife, you can use that too. I'm just going to get some more water on my brush. Okay, so we're bringing his nose out. Get a little bit broader over here. Almost like a scoop, and then it'll come back. Oops, I picked up some black, but that's okay. Oh, and then under here. Kind of like that. And then some more yellow ochre and some more white. On the other side of his nose. Remember, we're going to keep it really dark right there. And we're going to take a little bit more of the Any more yellow ochre. Okay, so just grab a little bit more yellow ochre. Okay, and then we're just going to create the ornaments on my brush. I too much white in there. Okay, let's grab just yellow ochre. 
on our brush. I'm just gonna get broad over here. Okay, my yellow ochre. And she's coming up like a scoop thing over here. And I'm just gonna need here. I'm just flicking my brush up. Okay, and then get a little more water on your brush if you're having trouble with your yellow ochre, especially if it's thick bodied. Grab some yellow ochre, and we're just going right under this jaw. Oh, if you get black on your brush, just rinse out your brush. Grab some more yellow ochre. And then I'm just gonna. Bring that down up. This works for the fur. I'm just gonna rinse that out. Remember, this is just an underpainting, so do not, don't try to make this. You don't need this to be perfect. I'm sorry. All right, I'm taking that same brush, got more yellow ochre, just toning it up a little bit. Fixing in the patchy spots. If you have thick body paint, make sure you have water on your brush. So that paint can really get in there. Okay, grab some more yellow ochre and white. I'm gonna start right inside of his ear. Using the corner of your brush, this is kind of hard, but you can do it, just hook it up. And then we are going to come down into the black and over this way and meet with this, this meat right here. So grab more white, gonna hook it. Come on down and go over it. I have black, too much black on mine. Okay, let's try it again. A little white, a little yellow ochre. Okay. Oh, and then there's some right here, too. Some hair there. Grab some more white, a little yellow ochre. Try to scoop it on the tip of your brush like that, if that helps, on the tip, if you can see that. I mean, see how it's on the tip. That way you can kind of direct the paint where you want it to go, so we can create that little fat lump right there, and come down here, right there. I'm going to have to go over that multiple times, that's fine. I'm just going to grab some white and go over it. Okay, and then also... I'm gonna do some of this here. I'm gonna scumble some of this using the palette method. Here under his jaw. Okay, so now scoop up that paint like I just showed. Oh, I gotta wash off my brush, it's dirty. It's got black in it. I think our paint's drying faster than mine. All right, so grab some white, grab some yellow ochre. Make a very light color. Scoop it to the tip of your brush. Scoop it up to the tip. And then we're going to come over here. We're coming down. Oh, put the paint side down. <laughs> come down. I gotta watch that again. Sorry, I wasn't watching. Okay, V. From the corner of the nose, which I might have covered. All right, so this V is a very dipped V. I'll just cross it over. Getting my brush in there like it's flat again. And then, right next 
Okay, so she's just pulling it this way, this way, and this way. That way. Burnt sienna, and then right up the jaw, which is right above that black. And more burnt sienna, and we're filling in this patch, I guess, of black. Okay, so now a thin line of black paint. Okay, so she's coming. I'm just going to use a corner of my brush. She's just creating a little nose. Just like a V, and then just like a touch down, straight down. And the nose. Rinse out your brush. Okay, now we're going to take some red oxide of burnt umber and black. And then come in with a straight line from here to there. Wash out your brush. Grab some white and yellow ochre. And we're just going to do a little patch right here. Just a little line above it, I think. I think I need more white. So I'm going to scoop it up, like take my palette, scoop up the paint so I have a little bit on the edge. And put that where I want that to be. Okay, rinse that out. Grab some red oxide or burnt umber, which I'm just going to refer to as red oxide now. And just go around. Just tap, 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 tap. And that comes up to approximately right there. And then over by the ear, come down a little over. Oh, this must come up higher. Okay, it comes up a little higher. And it comes down a little bit like a triangle. Now I'm down here to a bit red oxide. And it comes down. It's like a little square right here. Okay. I'm going to rinse out my brush. Okay. A little bit, or a lot of white, a little bit of yellow ochre. Scoop it up into your brush. Put that side down that you have the scoop on. And then she's got something that goes in and out. Just a little bit, like that, I think. And that comes down. Okay. And then this comes up. And then this is just white. Oh, this way. Okay, grab some more of that white and yellow ochre mix. Grab some water on your brush if it's not moving, if you need some help. And so this mouth kind of comes down right there. And this is going to be white. Comes up to here and drops down. So I am going to now add 
some white to a yellow ochre mix, making it very pale in color. Just coming it up into my brush, and I'm going to work on this little ear thing here. Using the corner of my brush to scoop it up. Carry that down. Like that. And then that comes down further, so we have more of that paint. And that comes all the way down. I'm just trying to make it more white. Okay, and then use a your brush. Oh, and I'm actually going to grab some more of that color, scoop it up to the tip of my brush like I showed you guys, and come down right here. And then we're going to have some of these coming up here too. Okay, I'm going to grab some black. The black. Red oxide and black. I'm just rounding it out. And then I'm taking that red oxide and black with a little bit of water to help make that paint move. And she has some behind the head too. And I'm going to your brush. Okay, we'll grab some yellow ochre. And then coming down the jawline. And up the jaw. And flat on my brush a little. I know she's like tapping it in. And I need some more of that white color, that white and yellow ochre. And kind of patch that in a little bit here. Looks like she patched it in over here. And a little bit up in here. And just a little bit further up there. Oh, and then up here. Just above the ear. You want to go above the ear? There we go. Okay. And now we're taking some more yellow ochre in that color. Lighten it up a little white. And a patch here on this area. Just for the eye. Okay, and then using, uh, over here too. Yellow ochre and white. I'm just gonna patch that right there. I think we're not doing too bad, you guys. I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, let's rinse out our brush. She's switching brushes now. So now I'm gonna grab my probably quarter inch angular brush if I can find it. Oh, maybe I'm gonna use my square brush. I have a number two flat brush. I'm going to get it wet, loosen up those bristles, tap off the drips. I already need more yellow ochre. Okay, I've got that. I'm going to get some more red oxide too, which I think the color looks fantastic on this, so I'm happy with the color choice. Okay, and then she's taking some yellow oxide with some white, and it's like a medium shade, so not too light, not yellow ochre itself. So darker than this, and then she goes above the nose, but she's going like, I need this nose to go sideways. And she's creating like this little lip thing. I don't know why there's no paint on the top of my brush. And it kind of curls up. I'm gonna go around, try to round the shape of his nose. Just moving that around. I'm gonna grab more white, a lighter color paint. Do that again. There we go. 
Excellent. And then I'm going to rinse it out just because I had so much paint in it. I'm going to grab a little white to make a little lighter shade. Scoop that up on my brush on the tip. And I'm going to outline the nose with it. And I'm assuming we're going to have to wait because that paint's too wet. <laughs> I can't even get the paint on there. Okay. That's okay. We'll come back to that. So now I'm going to bring this light white color that we're making with yellow ochre. A little bit of white. Or more white than yellow ochre. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it almost white in color. And we're going to grab from here. From this nose part. And then we're going to flat, fatter, thin. I'm having issues because my paint's not dry. Okay, and then over here, which we did. Oh, I gotta add black to that now. Okay, grab some black. All right, so now this black is gonna go from here where that line went, which was straight down. Let me try to move our palette. Okay, so this comes up to here. And this is going to go all the way down and up like that, fading it. It's perfect. Grab some more black. And then this comes straight down, just straight down. And then fill that little spot in. That was perfect. Okay, and then I realized this over here looks like it's like a up and then comes down and then I realized also that it kind of comes maybe a little white here and around this here comes almost down And then we're going to bring that white into that area, that lighter white shade here. So, just a little faintness there. So I'm going to add some white there. Just trying to line this nose up here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take some black and red oxide. I'm just gonna scumble. Just scumble it. Alright, I'm gonna grab some black and burnt sienna. It looks like she lined the ear. I think that's what she went in, over, and out, and over, and out. Like that. Maybe. And then take that same color. And we're just going to dab that line down all the way. Okay, we're going to take the brush. And yellow ochre and white. And then. I'm going to actually stop it right there. Because you notice hers, it looks a little different. I like it like that. You can do what she does if you'd like. I need some more white with yellow ochre. I need to fix this little guy here. It's still not dry. This might come down just a little farther. Oh, we're lining the ear. So I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to go to some of my detail brush that looks like this. It's like half an inch long. I'm going to go ahead and get wet. I'm going to grab some of that light white yellow ochre color. And it goes along using my pinky to stabilize. I can't see. Okay, so now we went along the ear. So, oops, just along the entire ear here. That could be a little bit more yellow too. And 
and then grab some burnt umber, a burnt sienna or red ochre. I mean red oxide. <laughs> Cheapers. Sorry, she's going so fast. I'm trying to keep up. This is all like red oxide or um, burnt sienna right here. When it comes to a peak here. And then yellow ochre. Grab some yellow ochre on your brush. We're just going to go around the ear. That is a little wider if we'd like. Okay. And she's fuzzying out to you, little black. And burnt sienna. Or red oxide. And then going fuzzying up around the ear a little bit. Okay, let's see. And then she went under this weird thing here, which is actually going to be a V at the end. So we're just going to go under it here. Just curve along the jawline. Like that. And I know it's going to end up going like this. So I'm going to make a shortcut right there. And then. She's taking a rake brush, which I don't know if you guys have. I don't have that. So I'm going to use a regular fan brush. So I've got my mini fan brush, which is right here, which I'll be using, which separates itself. Anyways, you can see it separates as soon as it gets wet. Add some white yellow ochre and mix those two together. Okay, she's saying to hold it sideways. Oh, my brush. Okay, see, my bristles are not separated. I want those separated. Okay, so if you wipe it off a little bit on your palette, you'll be okay. And then you just want to pull, pull, grab a little bit more water, I'm going to grab some more white, because I know it's going to be some more white in there, and I'm going to just sweep it gently. I'm going to go sideways, just so it creates more separate lines. And then continue down this way. Grab more paint. And continue down here. Grab more of that paint. Continue down this way. Here. Grab some yellow ochre. Make sure your bristles are spread out. And if not, it's okay. So now we're just going to go from the top of the head. And just go. Okay, I'm going to add a little red oxide in there. Let me brush down to Now we're going behind the ear. Fan brushes are like a love-hate relationship. She goes behind the ear. You don't have to use a fan brush, in fact. Let's use a different brush. This brush is not working for me tonight. I'm going to use, oh, we can just use our little detail brush. This detail brush. I'm having troubles with my fan brush. Fan brushes and I never get along. Even if I had that brush, it probably wouldn't work as well as I wanted it to. Make sure there's plenty of water on your brush. And I want the shadow behind here. The burnt sienna. I don't know if she's pulling from here. You can fix that up afterwards. Okay, now she's just doing some of those lines down into here. Which you can easily do, as you can see, with this liner brush. And more accurately, too. 
There's a little bit of yellow ochre in there. More yellow ochre. Okay. Just gonna smell some yellow ochre over here. Got some more water on my brush. Okay, so now we can use our fan brush again. So grab your fan brush. Now we're gonna try this fan brush to see if this one works better. It's a bigger fan brush. Try and get it wet. Let's see. Try it down here. Hmm, interesting. I'm not getting the shade that I should be getting. Just wash that brush out. And I'm going to come in with my little brush. brush. You know, I thought it would have been this big. And I can wash it. It's going to be easy enough. And this goes last. I'm just adding some shade and color into the main. Okay, rinse out your brush. Take that little wire brush. We're gonna grab some white, and then she's just adding. What did she just do? I don't know what this is supposed to be white. I go along the top. Here, and then a hook over this way. Okay, and then it comes up and down. So we need a little black on our brush. Her nose is a little more ornate than mine. So it comes up and then down. And then in the center, it comes up right here, and then down. There we go. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's right in the center. It bumps up right above this line, and then it comes down. Okay. We're just taking her rake brush. The closest thing I have is like a bristle brush, which is like this which I might be able to get some striations from. It looks like blocky. I'm going to get that wet. I'm going to try to get some light yellow oxide onto the tip of my brush. And then try to do some strokes. I'm going to I might need some more water. So you can create some hair effects like that. Okay, and then I guess I want yellow ochre. Coming down, make sure it's to the point. Okay, rinse out your brush. Pull some black. More black. More black. Okay, more black. So we're going from under the chin, going up, and up. A little more water on my brush to make these bristles like rake like. Oh, it's so close it was. <laughs> okay. Then I want to take some white yellow ochre. 
pick that up this way here. Okay, the red oxide. Let's see if I'm down here with all that oxide. Okay. I'm just about here. Not with the red oxide, I just chose to red up. Grabbing some black. Scumble it. Okay, some yellow oxide and white. Okay, and then right around here, I'm gonna get a little bit light. A little bit light, just going an angle with the ear, sorry. Grab some white. Some yellow ochre and go towards the ear. I'm just gonna scumble. Because she doesn't have any purple areas anymore. So I'm gonna take some yellow ochre. Just scumble that one in. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some white, a little yellow ochre. Come down, more yellow ochre. Come down, more water. Look at that yellow ochre. Brush it out. And we can add some black to create some depth with the red oxide. So there's some more like more depth in there. There you go. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add some black flicks. So grab some black on your bristles. Tip of the bristles. I'm just going to blow some black hairs out. I'm just putting black on the tip of my brush and dragging it out. This brush is fantastic. It's just like um, a bristle brush or something like that. It does so much. Okay. Take the brush, rinse it out, grab some red oxide. And so right about here, I'm going to kind of create this little bump here. That comes up.
Let me put that brush away. Every little liner brush. Okay, I'm gonna grab some white. A little bit below the eye. We're just gonna come down almost immediately. Come up. And then straight down. I think when my paint's already starting to dry out. And then we're just outlining the middle of again. Some more water in my paint. My paint's drying out. Okay. And then along the nose again. That light. And then that white. Okay, so for the rest of this hour, and this is more like chunky, actually, so I gotta go straight. Okay, I'm gonna take a little black. It should be a little after. So come up, and then it's a little bit after. So it's like a little O. And then we go straight and flex up. And then this kind of comes down. And then this come like that. Pull that in. So hook it over to the white. Bring it up. I need to go up higher. I'm gonna curl it over and come down. Oh, I need more of a curl. It's too sharp. Okay. I feel like that's set too high. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm gonna get some white and yellow ochre. I might come back down. I don't know. I think it's my jaw, maybe? I need more black on my jaw. I think my jaw is too scooped. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little light to his eye. That actually is like a half moon. Half moon. And then I'm going to take some more light. And then I'm going to come back more. A little bit more. And the black is going to actually go like this. It's going to curl up. And then this one is going to come down. Oh, it comes right with the white. So we're where white is. So I'm going to carry my white a little farther. Which I think my eye is too big. I see deeper set. I need to go darker underneath. It needs to come down more. So it'll come down. Come down. 
and in like this. Another eye. Another one, the eye, which I'll fix. Maybe the white needs to be. Okay, so now I take a little black and my little flat brush that looks like this. You get it wet, loose up those bristles, and tap off the drips. Okay, and then we're just gonna make this a little bit more straight right here. And then I have a little black right down here for the bead. And we're just trying to create that wispy mane look with this brush, which you can create with any brush really. And now I'm just gonna go back to that black area on the face and just fill it in just a little bit more with um, that red oxide and black color. And so then we're just gonna come up a little bit higher, like straight up higher almost, and then it kind of curls down and then fill it in. This comes down too. This comes down, straight down. And that's too. We're just bring that straight down. There. Like that. And then. Oh, this could have been a little bit more soft. You want to create some with me. Red oxide with that your brush, you create that same flat brush. This is the same thing here. Bring it out the front a little too. I see, okay, I need more yellow oxide. I'll clean my brush real quick. Add a little bit of yellow oxide, a little bit of white. Put them together, and it kind of, so like right up here, it's like this curve. Brush. Just very lightly, very light touch. Light touch. Make sure we're going the right way. <laughs> Let's fill it over in white to make that same color. And we add some wisps. White and yellow ochre. Right front. And I like to show you guys as much as I can. Make sure. Uh, oh, and she did something in here. I'll give you lots of options she went and ideas. Down and around to here. to that color. So we're going to add a little bit more around. A little more white. The eye. Bring it around. Okay, and then we'll add in some fix up. A little red oxide. Number, whatever color we're using. Okay, so I'm gonna 
like the white is yellow over color. So lots of white, a little bit of yellow ochre. So, I had wet brush, so I'm using this brush. So, hopefully, I can fix that. Um, I'm going to add some more. Get that flat brush again, that quarter inch flat brush. Get that white and yellow ochre shade. And we are going to draw that line from here and over here. Go down over here. And come down a little farther. Down. Okay, get more color on your brush. And we're just going to shimmy. Some color right over there. And then grab that color again. Go over this again. Okay, got that in your bucket of water. Pick up some water. We're going to do whiskers of white. So, wet your brush really well. Get it almost like inky consistency. And then from here, we're just going to draw out some whiskers. So, whisker. 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 White, that liquidy white. Lots of water. Grab some white paint. Your paint is drying off. It's drying out. Grab some new paint. And just coming all over the place from over here. Oops. I should use a liner brush. It's a long whisker. <laughs> Get my brain here and my nose here. I'm going to add little dots and dabs. Okay. I'm going to have oh, my little one. Spaces. And here my nose will be. Okay, rinse that out. Grab some red oxide. Are you Burnt umber and some black, mix those two together. I'm just gonna do some dots. So skinny, dot, dot, bigger, bigger. Okay, three of those dots. And some random ones up here. And then we can do a few more dots. And I'm going to grab that three quarter inch or a quarter inch brush. Let it get wet. Grab some yellow oxide. Pull that out. I'm just gonna come down this little area. A little yellow oxide here. And then grabbing some more yellow oxide. 
and then go over this area again. Really highlight this. Oh, and if you want to fix them, your lines. And then thin your lines out. And then create a shadow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to fix the eye, so I'm going to grab some black, fill this in. I need to set that eyeball a little bit more forward, and I need it to curl down a little bit here. Where's it curl down? Right here. So I'm going to curl that eyeball down. Okay. And then taking that liner brush, grab some white at the tip of it. We're just going to do a little half moon right in the smack dab middle of it. Is that still set too far? Oh, I think not. I think that's good. I'm just going to take that quarter brush again. Take some white and then that yellow oxide. Very light color. I'm going to go over this again because that didn't come out as light as I wanted it to. That should go all the way down. Down to there. And I'm going to grab some more white with that yellow oxide. Or yellow ochre. I'm so sorry, guys. Yellow ochre. And come in and add some of these in here. Maybe make them a little longer too. So again, that's just yellow, white, yellow ochre, and white. And I'm going to make these ones just a little bit longer. Just like that. Okay, and we have our lion. How exciting. And we can take a little of that yellow ochre and white mix and kind of just like flop in. Rinse off your brush. Swatch that out a little bit. Grab some red oxide or yellow or uh, burnt umber. Make that in stronger in some areas, but not in all of them. Okay, and then when you're done, or you think you're done with it, and you're happy with it, we're done our painting. I'm just trying to get some texture in here. Just be careful when you're doing this. Okay. And I think the lion's done. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. And I hope it helped you create a lion. And until next time, I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.